Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Now this is something I've been talking about for a little while and, and it's happening finally. Uh, I have finally made a Morrowind Rebirth install, never played it before. And um, and it's fine, it's stable and everything, we like that. And then I did have this poll with a bunch of traits that I thought might be fun to play and the results hopefully have not changed. No, they have not. So these are the traits for our character. We will not fast travel now. We don't really have fast travel in Morrowind. We have the Sil Strider, we have the boats and we have the guild guide. Now we're not going to use those guys to go anywhere unless we've already traveled to the destination. So that's what it is. Drunk, we collect booze and we need to get drunk daily. We actually have a mod, uh, Immersive Alcoholism, that is got alcohol, anyway, that will allow us to indeed get drunk and have penalties for it, obviously. And then we are a Dwemer expert. What it really means is, as soon as we have the opportunity, we will explore Dwemer ruins. We will do most quests related to the Dwemers, which I guess would put us in the Mages Guild. Uh, that's where we get them, Mages Guild slash Telvani, we'll see. And we'll be using Dwemer items, that's primarily weapons and armor. Uh, even if their attack or their defense is not as good as other armor we might get, well, we are still going to prefer them. So that's the three traits that we're going to keep. Uh, to be perfectly honest, a while ago during the, the live stream on Twitch, my permadeath crashed and I got a little flustered. So I decided to give the, the rebirth install a go. That's you know the best way to find out whether it's going to crash or not. It doesn't. So we did look at those three and we already did think of a character. So I'll tell you the gist of it. So you know what's what. Uh, drunk immediately we decided we'd be a Nord. And then Dwemer Expert, I figured if we're a Nord, then we could be a Smith or an Armorer type of person. And then when we started the game, there was a class that was suggested in the list of class. I don't know if I have a mod that adds that class, if it's part of Rebirth. I don't know. That's the beauty of having a new mod list and trying new mods. There's always something new. Uh, but there was the class Goldsmith, and I was like, aha, that's absolutely perfect. Now, we're a smith, but we're interested in rare metals and their properties. That's why we're interested in the Dwemers, because even though they didn't seem to have magic, it's, not, it's you know, a bit different. Uh, tonal, tonal, what is it called? It's different. Clearly, they could achieve some amazing things. So, our Nord armorer slash smith is a goldsmith but then when i looked at the skills it doesn't really didn't really go so it's not permadeath we're allowed to make a custom class so we are going to make a custom class class sorry it is going to be a goldsmith because i like the name um and we're going to be mostly about armorer alchemy because we study the properties you know of, of metals but that's alchemy and chanting so we can we can put magic into mundane items uh, mysticism because you know it's it's manipulating magical energies that fits and mercantile because we're a smith those are our major skills don't hang on maybe i should put blunt in there blunt or axe actually we were hesitating between uh using a very heavy arm hammer or sorry i was going to be so french a, a heavy hammer heavy hammer and um i'm still on defense with that we'll see we'll see that's the character we've got let's uh, recreate her now i say recreate her it's because i originally i was going to just put you know what we did during the live stream that was a lot of fun um scary and all that however there is one mod uh, I, I leveled up to level 2 and I realized that the mod was not going to be good for us. I leveled up very quickly. Uh, that's because I was trying Morrowind XP. Now with Morrowind XP, you level up not when uh, 10 of your skills have improved. You level up after you've done a number of things. Those things are discovering new locations, uh, practicing alchemy, practicing enchanting killing enemies as well and what happened because i need to eat regularly we're still using ashville uh we need to eat regularly and every time i ate which is a couple of times a day i practiced alchemy 
Every time I swung a sword that had an enchantment, I practiced enchanting. And so I got to level two very quickly. And I was like, okay. And then when you get to, when you get a level up, you get to put plus one to your stats. Fine. And then you get 20 points to distribute amongst your skills. And I put everything in my weapon, which was blunt. And so level two, my blunt skill, that was a minor skill, was 56. And I was like, I think I'm going to level up too quick between my alchemy and, you know, just eating food. I'm not even talking about making a potion between eating food and, and using an enchanted sword. I'm going to level up so quick and then my skills are going to be so high. I'm going to max out my skills from the beginning. That doesn't feel like, you know, something fun. So I've removed Mortal Wind XP. That's also why we're going to restart. Now, speaking of restarting, I suppose... We should get going. What do you say? Um, let me see. Apart from rebirth, obviously that's uh, that's the the elephant in the room, is there? Uh, the the mod that is going to influence the gameplay the most, possibly more than rebirth. I got a feeling. Um, I've decided to try Abbot's Deal Leveler. Now, what it does it is a mod, and you run a you run a little bat file that scans the level list from all the mods that you have. And then it sets the level for every level list to one. Practically what it means, it means that when you're level one, you can have any creature and any monster spawn, including something at level 100, anytime. Likewise, when you're looting something, you could find something that is only available when you're level 30 or something. So that makes things very, very interesting, especially when in terms of creature, it's more in rebirth, right? So mods that are going to change the landscapes, that's a no-no. Mods that are going to add buildings, yeah, that's most likely a no-no as well. So instead, I went a little crazy with mods that add creatures. We have giants. I know it's not entirely lore friendly. You know what? My permadeath install is quite lore friendly. Let's just go crazy. So we have giants. We have Morrowind Advance, and those creatures are really, really nasty. We have Pirate Lords creatures, and this time, normally I run with the low friendly or the semi low friendly. The low friendly one on Burma. I use the full version, so we're going to have all kinds of creatures there, including some creatures that are at level 100. And uh, when we started on stream, Getting out of Sedanin was a challenge. We had gigantic crabs just on the other side of the bridge, like gi gigantic. There, it does yeah, it shows gigantic. Uh, there was a shade in the middle of Sedanin, so we couldn't stay in the village. Uh, we tried to do, you know, that cave. Let me let me give you the music there. Come on, we we do want. We do want that. Um, that cave, you know, the one with a couple of bandits there? That was hard. We did kill one. We did kill one. Then we decided to take the Sil Strider and remember that we couldn't. So we said, okay, let's walk to Balmora. Unfortunately, there was a level 30 bandit. And then, and then we dodged the bandit. And then we had a, a pack of Nyx Hounds, like a dozen of them charging us i mean we could just couldn't go anywhere like all i could do was avoid enemies which you might think is uh it's not fun but honestly you're in a land that is dangerous you're level one i'm sorry but when you're level one you make you make yourself really really discreet you don't want to get the attention of anything because everything is a deadly danger to you even more so now um, I am going to reduce the effect audio because I realize I have not changed uh, in uh, Pirate Lord's sounds. There is a, a swinging rope sound that's really, really loud and unpleasant. And I did recommend uh, someone to switch it and put a silent MP3 and I didn't even do that myself. I know, I know. It's a lot easier to tell people what to do and give them advice then um, then follow the advice yourself, isn't it? So that's how it is. Hopefully I'm not going to explode your ears. 
No, I know I, I won't. Don't worry. Don't don't go away just yet. So let's recreate this character real quick. We are a Nord. We are female. Let's see what we got. Sergey the subtle. I like the subtle. I'm not so keen on uh, Sergey. Hannah. I'm going with Hannah. We watched Hannah recently. And the subtle because... <coughs> because being a Nord, she's, she's quite learned for a Nord, I think. You know, she's into studying and magic and that sort of things. It's, it's probably a little too subtle for the average Nord. Let's find a face. Now, the faces you will recognize very quickly. We have a uh, Wesley's plugin less replacer. It's a good base. I know there are people who hate it. There are people who love it. I generally like Wesley's faces. I do find them a little too pretty for Morrowind, but at the same time, they are pretty. <laughs> so, uh, you are recognizing, I'm sure, some heads from uh, Better Heads. I don't actually have Better Heads, but it's about the same thing. Uh, I am using an old one, uh, Riptide Faces and Clothes Replacer. It uses better heads, but it mixes mixes them up differently, and it also changes the clothing. Uh, in my permadeath, I know the face I want. I hope I'm not going to miss it talking to you. Some of those faces, it's been forever since I used better heads, and you know whether you find them pretty or ugly, it really is a matter of taste. Uh, beauty is in the, the eye of the beholder, right? That's what they say. My problem with them is that some of those faces are just way too... I don't know, they stand out quite a bit. They're too special. And then when you meet two NPCs with the same face, you sort of go, ah. Oh. Of course, I also don't like when the hair and the face really don't go together. I should have gone the other way around, I think. Another one I want is, uh, yeah, there it is. That's the face I used to play with um, when I had better heads. And the hair, it's better hair, and some of it has aged horribly. This, for example. And I remember at the time when they came out, you were like, ooh, ooh, new hairstyles, new colors. Yeah, these didn't age very well. I must, um, I must that. And this one, it's kind of so so. I was considering this one. Like, we're a smith, right? We don't want to have anything fancy, you know. We do have a, an ear problem a little bit. I think it's an accident when we were a kid. We don't like to talk about it. So there you go. You see the goldsmith? There it is. Conjuration, like, doesn't work for me. I don't see what conjuration is doing there at all, actually. Are you going to summon your daedric weapon i guess I, I didn't i didn't like that so let's make our goldsmith there we go uh specialization i'm not sure we'll we'll see now i really want to make it's not going to be you know we're not min maxing we're not going for the best skills and the best stats i'm just just want a character that makes sense so our first skill is Armorer. Is it stupid to have a major skill Armorer? Probably. But that's our story. We're an Armorer and for it we want to be able to study material, metals in our case. And also I think mysticism is good as well as enchant. Blunt or blunt or axe are they both strengths they are both strength need to check because everything has been changed and rebirthed so you know why i'm hesitating i got two reasons the first one i know the birth sign that i want and i will be able to get a bound axe once a day so having axe makes a lot of sense also, uh, when we played the first time round, we had a two-handed iron hammer, like the basic one you could find. And because we are using Darkness first-person view, I was running like that, actually. I was running around with my hammer, and my hammer was always in my face. <laughs> it was very annoying. 
So I'm, I'm thinking maybe the axe wouldn't be so much in my face. Wishful thinking, I know. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Then we will, we will be using sorry uh, heavy armor. So let's be let's be serious and have a couple of useful skills. Uh, mercantile because when we're a smith, we, we need to discuss if we even if we're not selling directly to uh, customers, we still have to sell our weapons to someone, a trader or something. So let's have some mercantile again. Is it a very important skill to have to survive? Maybe not. I don't care. I don't care. So we have a weapon, we have, uh, I have all my, you know, mystical smith related skills. I think I don't want to give myself too many weapons or anything. So let's go for those two. I suppose we could put blunt as a minor. That way I can pick the one I like best. Um, what else do we have that's useful? Oh, block. Oh, but hang on. Like for for the Nord, I, I really imagine a two-handed weapon. But let's have block. I'd rather have block that I may not use than a second weapon style that I won't use at all. We're a goldsmith. Okay, I'm gonna try to type that as fast as possible. Uh, the goldsmith. Um. Crafts uh, weapons and armor, but also has a keen interest in the magical proper properties of of metals, of crafting material. That way, we can study leather as well. I don't know. I'm thinking I should have I should have installed uh, more in crafting as well. Full stop. Okay, we don't need to write a whole story. I pretty much told you. Uh, specialization. I think it would be quite smart to put magic because these are skills that don't go up very quickly, and I believe. Uh, that gives us a plus style and they're easier to increase. I think that's a good idea to go with magic. And then strength and endurance is very good to have more hit points. I think I'm going to go with that. It's a bit of a strategic uh, decision, but I think we'll go with that. Then I really, really like this uh, birth mode, birth, birth sign mod my goodness i'm sorry it's late it's almost my bedtime so i really like this one because i feel that they they can really shape the way you play the game and you know i'm all about having different characters and the one that we picked was this guy because i'm a nord okay and the nord have a very strong tradition of being strong fighters and everything and drink mead and and also being good smith but I really, really go quite hard into the smithing studying thing. So I figured that the juggernaut would be a way for me to sort of muster all the all that Nord power and ancestry that I have to help me in a, in a tight spot. So we went for that. Which leaves us, hey, wow, we're pretty rubbish at everything, aren't we? We're quite good with our blunt. Other than that, we really don't have amazing skills. We start with quite a bit of health, so that's nice. Uh, heavy armor is not crazy, but as we get pummeled, hopefully it's going to improve very quickly. We can always look for a mud crab. Yeah, a mud crab, because they're slow and, and if they hit us a little too hard, we can run away. That's, that's the idea. I think we're gonna keep that. I mean, they're not amazing skills to begin with. Uh, enchant, honestly, enchant, I've never used that skill. I've never used that skill. But using an enchanted weapon should help us, you know, improve the skill. Mysticism, we might get good enough to do absorb health. That would be good. That would be quite good. Let's go with that. Hannah the Subtle. Mostly. 
unless when we are drunk then we're really not subtle I'm not sure now how we got our name actually I'm not sure if it's because our you know Nord brothers and sisters thought that we were a little too much into studying rather than being a, a burly strong Nord uh, woman or is it because when we are drunk we are anything but subtle we'll find out also this is going to be a big moment you recognize quick character now is a good time to save really I've saved oh my goodness we're swaying this is quick character however there's a there's a twist to it I don't know where I'm going to be spawned I have no idea uh, that's a uh, Abbott's twist on okay it doesn't look too bad at least we're not in the middle of nowhere Dagenfell um, Abbott's quick character uh, mod is exactly what you've seen you create your character just like in quick character and then you're spawned anywhere and again Abbott uh, has the, the ESP that you activate and then the little bat file I believe you need test 3 command to run it. You click on it and it's going to scan all your mods and make a list of all the cells that exist in your game and spawn you in one of them. Dagenfell, yeah, I did guess that right. How appropriate! How appropriate! So Dagenfell is our hometown. That works. That works beautifully. Good, good, good. It's been forever since I had this, uh, this UI. Really. Okay, we have something that will improve our spear. Not exactly something we, we desperately need, but you know, let's keep that. Now we can we can have the effects again. Ooh, you got yourself a nice glass shield, which tells me I probably shouldn't upset you. And then we don't have all that much, do we? We should probably... Oh, yes, we are going to use the battle cry. It makes sense for a Nord. It's part of our, it's part of our Nordic ancestry. Okay, da da da. And I believe, yes. And our key is going to be G, I think. Thank you for that. Thank you. Also, I should probably shed set this up the, ch the, sh the shock chance how likely is it that you're going to be hit by lightning I I mean I do realize that putting it higher might be more fun because you might be hit by lightning and who doesn't like that but then again it's somewhat of a rare event so I'm gonna go with a 10 and I believe you can also configure the damage let's go with medium uh, I, sp I think when we level up and we have more hit points, maybe maybe we'll increase it. Right now, uh, we know that being hit by lightning will leave us half dead, which is, you know, not bad. Where do we start? Brawling headbutt. I believe that's part of being a Nord. We have a chance to paralyze on touch. That is the one we get from our birth sign. And frost damage, weakness to frost, also a touch spell. We already know divine intervention. Do we actually want to... I'm not too sure what to do in terms of faction. If we want to do the, Dem the Dwemer quest, we should join the Mages Guild. Uh, we probably won't go very far with the sort of skills that we have. But, unlike in my permadeath install, we don't have higher faction requirements. It may have changed. I think it may have changed in Rebirth, but we'll discover that. Reflect could be useful. Absorb fatigue, why not? Telekinesis is brilliant because security five. We we're not gonna be we're not gonna be removing traps very efficiently anytime soon, I don't think. Uh, we do have log bashing, which I've never tried. I don't know, just take your weapon and and bash the door or the chest. We'll have to try that when the, when there's no one looking around. Because as a as a smith, a Nord smith, I think that using tele like a mystical smith, I guess, an arcane smith, that's it. I could have been another name for the class, arcane smith. 
That's how I imagine the class anyway. As an Arkin Smith or Goldsmith, we are going to use telekinesis to remove to trigger the traps and our hammer or axe to crack the chest open. That's it, gameplay sorted. What are you? A mysterious note. Hannah the Subtle, you should go to Vardenfeld Town. Oh yes, that's to tell me that I should, you know, if I want to start the main quest, that's where it starts. Okay. And this is when we have companions. Okay. Well, uh, do we have money? 65. It's not an awful lot, but we'll make that work. You don't really like me. I have no means of making you like me more. Ooh, lots of enchanted things. Let's sell that. We have mercantile, so let's try to make the best of it. And that was easy. Um, yeah, I don't really want the iron dagger. Oh, look at that. Nordic battle axe. Um, <laughs> I think even if I... Maybe if I sell that... It's gonna be it's gonna be touch and go. We might have to sell our shirt as well. 68, and we're not there. We're keeping that, it might save our life. How do we make quick money in uh, in Dagenfell? I need I need about a hundred more to be able to afford that beautiful Nordic axe. I like it. Stone axe is, is really good enough to chop wood, and that's it. Blunt. I can afford a blunt weapon. Maybe that's what I should go for. So I'm not, you know, completely defenseless. <gasps> and we're in Dagenfell, and we have the explorer condition. So the first thing I do is swim, swim to the island. That's very promising. What are you? Warden boots, resist magicka. Oh, cast when use. Hmm. I mean, just the uh, 30 points of endurance. <whistles> That's very generous. That I'm fairly certain is from uh, enhanced economics which I haven't used in the longest time, but I'm, I'm sensing that maybe the stuff in there, I mean, the price is not all that high, to be honest. Um, it might be a little too good compared to how vanilla items have been uh, rebalanced. We'll see. I use heavy armor, Nordic trollbone, I guess. Rather than buy some fancy sword, I should start with some serious protection. And I can just about afford braces and pauldrons. It's not much, oh, but I do want the shield. Is it a better idea to get the shield and the basic blunt? Maybe. This is not bad. I mean, I know the levitation 1 to 100, it's like I'm 30 second, but for that price, at level 1, you're able to levitate somewhat for some time. It's pretty good. Anyway, it's not like we have the choice with all of that. I do have mercantile. Let's try to push it. Not bad. And I need a basic weapon, like better than that dagger because I won't be able oh I do have that worth a hundred and then again I don't think it would have been enough to afford my my axe okay all right let's see how fancy we're gonna look in those <laughs> with our commoners clothing the problem it's Nordic it's good but it's not really smithed, if you if you see what I mean. It's carved, but not smith. 
It's pretty dark in here, isn't it? It's 10 o'clock in the evening. It's 10 o'clock in the evening, guys. It's not a good time to start swimming to go to the coast. That's 10 o'clock. Oh, no, that's my time. Okay. <laughs> I do prefer that uh, clock block gives me the game time. Okay. I prefer that. Okay, it's 10 in the morning. Well, then maybe it would be a smart idea to... Hello, that's new. Maybe it would be a smart idea to start swimming now. I mean, there might be... I don't think there's much to do for me here. Because as much as um, rebirth is going to change everything... I don't think, oh my goodness, we're, we're gonna have to go and uh, go all the way here, hop to that island and go there. Oh, there's a Daedric crew in there, not good. Maybe hop that way and go to the Ashlander camp. It's gonna be a challenge just to get out of there. Brilliant, love it. Okay, south we go. You don't have shoes, lady. I guess she's being uh, a true Nord or something. Okay. See, that's better. It's not so much in my face. There's definite improvement there. I am not going to explore anything. My goodness, just getting all the way back to Sadanine it's gonna be quite quite a challenge. That's, that looks quite ooh bloody. Yeah. You coming for me? What do I have? Drain soul. Meh I mean I should do that. I do want to trap souls. Uh, absorb fatigue. Hang on. Yeah, I thought so. So, good news. We can kill a rat. It's so nice for me to have a level one character that can take on uh, simple creatures. <laughs> because typically my level one characters cannot do that. Diseased rat, oh, I should be careful. How am I doing with diseases? I don't think I have any sort of resistance to them. I resist cold. And that's it. Okay, I am well rested. And this guy... I have no idea if that's a friendly person or, or not. I should say, by the way. Free guy starting our adventures. I can't even tell what sort of armor that is. Is that a crap? It's a golden saint. I think it's Wesley's golden saint replacer. Okay. And this is when we start our little game of hide and seek because clearly at level one we're not going to go and take on a golden saint. I think it's a golden saint. I would like to, to have a good look, but later, when we are much, much stronger, as well as much, much faster. Okay, this is this might be good, because we're going to go in the water now. It's going to be a little cold. Oh, you can't, <laughs> you can't cast your spells when I'm underwater, can you? We're comfortable, but soaking wet, meaning when we get out of there, we're also going to start getting cold, you bloody fish. That's so weird. Let me get out. I can't, I can't fight fighting like that. Okay. Oh, thank you, little fish. 
Morrowind deleveled. That is just nasty. Let's finish this fight, shall we? Do I have anything in the way of healing? I don't think I do. Okay. Shh. What is it? It's you. Okay. What can I do? Not much. Do I have a potion? No. Maybe instead of spending my money on pauldrons, I should have spent my money on healing potions. Yeah, I think leaving home, um, aka Dagenfell, is going to be a lot more challenging than uh, anyone would have imagined. Ooh! That is not, I did say the rules explorer, we are not using the, the, the sail strider or the boat or the guild guide, but that's, that's not fast travel, that's faith. That's the power of faith. Maybe that's what I should use. Uh, that's um, CV. Is that going to take me to Sadrith Mora? Because let's face it, we're not very healthy. And uh, what we saw next to the boat, I think is a dryad or something, or a nymph from giants, and they are pretty nasty, especially for a level one. Let's try to kill that cliff racer though. If you, now you change your mind, you don't want to fight anymore. Come on, lower you go, come on. I'm not gonna... No. Okay. I think it's a little... Um, it's scared. That's what. That's what's happening. Come on, let's, let's give this a try. Cliffy? An armored... Oh, that was me shouting and dying. Okay. No! Why did I? I didn't think I installed this mod as well. I am doomed. I am so doomed. I think we might have to restart or reload. Edit. Reload. It's not permadeath. Um, this is a mod that I, I use in permadeath because it's so, so, so good. And what happens is, unless you're a member of the Imperial Cult, you cannot use uh, Divine Intervention. Uh, and likewise, unless you're a member of the temple, you cannot use uh, MCV intervention. And I'm a member of neither. So even though I have the spell here, it's just not gonna work. This is going to restore my fatigue. It's not fatigue that I need. Ugh, I can't believe I'm using that against Why, why do I do this to myself? Off we go, indeed, off we're going. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> There's no temple in Dagenfell. Like, I'll join either, both. If it means I can use my teleportation to just get out of there. Okay, let's try that again. Just need to fight one at a time. And spend whatever money we have we'll steal if we have to are we we need healing potions there's no way we'll uh, we'll go on such a long journey swimming across um, slaughterfish dro and whatever else is added by the other creature infested waters without without a, a healing potion at least that Oh, little rat, I see you. Ish, yeah, that hurts. Okay, it's not bad. At least we can swing that club fairly quickly. Wait, <laughs> I swear, at some point she's gonna take her own eye out. Oh, shorts. They're a bit stronger, aren't they? Any chance you'll be exhausted by the time you reach me? Mm. 
It's hurting me quite a bit. Oof, quite a bit indeed. Be tired. I'm running back to town. I think, I mean, that's the road. It has to take me back to town. No magica. Okay. Epic adventures. That's what I like with the challenging run. Things that are, that you don't normally think about, like what? You're in Dagenfell, you want to go to Sidonine. Just go, take a boat. And things that shouldn't be challenging suddenly become really, really quite nasty. Oh, I wish I could take a boat. Okay. Well, change of plan. We are going to need to talk to people and see if there's a quest, anything we can do to make some honest money. Um, we could go and try to steal something, even though we're we're not really a thief. Like we're not built as a thief, but we're quite desperate. At the same time, I mean, this is a north settlement, so how badly do do we want to get out of here? How badly do we want to get out of here? So bad that we're gonna steal money from people that have been like, still valuables from people that have been our neighbors forever. Maybe because I don't think we're gonna have another choice. You're in Dagenfell, Hannah the Subtle. It's a fishing village. Or maybe you know that already. Obviously, I live there. And you aren't lost. In which case, maybe you got some question you were planning to ask me. So go ahead, just ask and I'll answer. You're looking for services here? Very few, very few. Or looking for someone in particular? Go ahead, don't be shy. Well, do tell me if there's someone in particular. Frith Nild is the publican and the proprietor of the End of the World Trade House. Sarnia, the clerk, is an imperial agent here to investigate the disappearance of his collar. A Nord wizard, Sokvil the Raven, has occupied an old wizard's tower east of town. All right. Who are you, lady? You're one of the many folks. Hmm. I couldn't have told. Um, rumors? Oh, that's new. I've heard tales of the ancient helm locked away in the ruin of Oni Siralis, west of Vas. Here, I'll mark on your map where it is, where Vas is. The brothers of Norvain left here recently to investigate. The brother, sorry, the brother Norvain left here recently to investigate the place. You should try to meet up with them. If you want to check it out, they're good for. So a bit argumentative. Do they have free healing potions? So I could use that. I could definitely use that. Lots of ruins here on Sheogorad. If you're an adventurer looking for loot or trouble, it might be worthwhile exploring the island. The left is the big Dwemer ruin everyone knows about. <gasps> and now we have to go there. We have to go there. We, we, we are so interested in Dwemer things. Of course, I could argue that we've lived there, so we've already been there. It probably would be smarter to use whatever potions or whatever money we find to get out of here rather than start exploring the island. Hmm. But there are other places on the island. This is so perfect. It's completely random, but it's so perfect that we started there because it is true. You have, you have the Dwemer ruins everywhere. It fits so well with the character. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, but I'm still, you know, in serious trouble. Lower about 50% of Varden Valley inhabitants are dumbness. It's true. The other half are Redguard, Breton, Nord. Okay, the rest. In roughly equal proportion. Actually, if you look at the population of Mor like the game Morrowind and Blood Moon and Tribunal, there's 10% of Imperials and 10% of Orcs, and then less of the others. I know I checked. You're a commoner, yeah. And a Nord, I know, me too, me too. I just want to gray out the topics, so we won't have to, we won't click on them again for no good reason. I heard a shipmaster on the Tel Mora Dagenfell run dropped a group of wizard and mercenary off on a little island somewhere. I think there was a bunch of rogue Telvanni planning to set up a base. We're definitely not gonna go there yet. 
Dwemer ruins all over the place up here on the island. Folks come hunting Dwemer artifacts. Never mind the Emperor's low. None of my business. Okay. Uh, which brings a very good point. How do we feel about the low? <laughs> it's nice. I asked the question, there's silence and not quite crickets, but close enough. Anyone? Anyone, please give me a mission, something I can do at level one. This is so dark, isn't it? Dagenfell. Yes, so uh, wants to be a simple fishing village, but recent activities of Sorkville the Raven are a cause for concern. Kogimia is back in Dagenfell. Dagenfell. And when you see Kogimia, you know there's smuggling going on. Uh, rumors of merchants, okay. And nothing else. How do we get out of here, people? Damn, that's when I really, really miss uh, being live because then somebody would have a good idea. I must be going, so if you could make it quick. Of course, I mean, you're very busy in your barrel, aren't you? Nice place this. I've been to a lot of places. I've seen the crystal cities of Altmeris, shook hands with a few Kaviri, done my share in those slug people kingdoms been everywhere really but there's just something about these ruins and whatnot got a good atmosphere around them of course they don't compare to the ones back home but they're nice enough oh and where are my manners sorry the name is daigle i'm a pilgrim though really i'm a sailor and really i'm a traveler and a little confused aren't you you're a sailor you did say i'm sorry but i want to gray out the topics that as well good home. Yep, the all OMC. City of steel, steel, and there's a typo there. Steel, stone, blot, sweat, but mostly bureaucrats. God damn, we're swimming in them. Still, great place. Joe dropping for a first time visit, I'd say. Ever been? There's a ship going there. I know the captain as well. Yep, just a little north of here, there's a chap named Murdus Meridae. He's a smuggler, but honest man. It's a bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? An honest smuggler. At least as far as smugglers go. Just mention my name, indulge the little tangent he goes off on, and you'll probably get free passage. Except, uh, we, have to, we have to take into account the explorer rule. As long as it is some place that I can reach by walking, swimming, flying even, uh, no fast travel. However, if it's a quested area that's only available through travel, then we'll have to do that. I'm not sure that's the case right now. Yes, you said. Little advice, okay. Little secret, Deja, we know that. In Telvani district, the few Telvani Towers town are just big villages with wizard's towers. Okay. You don't see how. Fair enough. Uh, I'll let you be in your barrel. Thank you for the talk. I don't think I've talked to the people... <laughs> I don't think I've talked, sorry, to the people of Dagenfell in years. Alright. Give me some more wind lore. Dumbness say they hate necromancers, vampires and all undead, but they got their tomb with the ghost and animated spirits of their ancestor. What's the difference? The ancestor agreed to do that. That's the difference. You see why I use all the topics before so that I know this guy has nothing new to tell me. So bye. Of course it's locked because the lady is, that's the one here. And this is not a good time to try my luck bashing skill, I don't think. Fish hook. Hello, fish hook. Who are you? Oh, yes. This is how we get money. I'm fish hook, agent and journeyman of the fishing guild. You want, you want what? Scales. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Pay you twenty septims for each scale. I mean, I am taking the job. Did I get fish scales? No, not not yet. Well, I want money. 
And I'm just realizing this is not my water. This is not my water replacer. I'll have to change that. So we need to kill slaughterfish. Would you look at that? A Nord without a shirt. What else is new? Fanar Forkbeard. I'm just fine, stranger. I'm Fanar Forkbeard and this is Dagon Fell. And I guess you want to ask me some questions. Yes, about your trade. I'm an acrobat. As an entertainer, my job is to amaze and amuse my patrons. But in my more discreet vocation as a second story man and connoisseur of treasures and secrets, my job is to come and go without attracting notice and to effectively discourage pursuit when I am noticed. Running, swimming or leaping, my art is to leave my less agile, less swift pursuit behind. I have the agility of a gazelle, the cunning of a fox and the ferocity of an eagle. Okay. What do you know of the Thieves Guild? It ain't easy to find out where Thieves Guild members meet. For obvious reasons, you have to look around and talk to the right people. Good to know, good to know. I'm afraid we're gonna spend the day just talking to people. Welcome to Dagenfell. Advice, lots of ruins, I heard. It's bad enough with the Blightstorm, but the Ashlanders are also going crazy. Oh. Rural Domno live in villages, group of small huts centered around temple compounds. Good to know. Good to know. That's locked, obviously. Also, we don't see when things are locked. We don't see when they're trapped. So I'll have to maybe make an effort to remember to not activate everything. The pilgrim here from time to time. Yes, since we are the closest port to a pair of sites. The Malakath Shrine and the Sanctus Shrine. If you were thinking of visiting the sites, let me warn you. I heard that a group of orcs are camped out over there at the site of the Malakath Shrine. I'm okay for now. I'm not particularly interested in now. Uh... I know we don't know how to use a dagger, but it's Dwemer. Buddy, clearly you cannot see me there. He actually cannot see me there. Well, I guess that answers my question. We are willing to steal from lifetime neighbors, but I'm not selling that, actually. I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it. I think, if I can. Oh, yes, we check those. <clears throat> Imperial God, I have nothing to tell you. Itar the Gentle. Call me Itar the Gentle. I follow my instinct and ask questions later or never. I love to drink and fight and laugh, but cross me and I'll haunt you to your grave. By the way, uh, it's now. <coughs> Sorry, it's now afternoon and we still haven't drunk anything other than water. We're going to have to worry about that as well. I am a barbarian, you're proud of it. Good, 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 good. How about you? I'm just fine, stranger. I'm Huldir and this is Dagenfell, yes. Any secret I don't know? Yes, I know about those. Within the ghost fence on Red Mountain Slope and its crater, the weather is always blighted and gloomy. Very true, you're a merchant and yet, and yet I don't see you selling anything collecting flowers but somehow I don't think I'm gonna make a fortune selling those or no, 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 no. it's been barricaded from the inside maybe dreamer you're already here that's a bit surprising but okay what sort of jobs do you have cliff racing I suppose if we find I do have one. Come to think of it, cliff races might be easier to hunt than slaughterfish. Because I already see a few around and I know that if there's no one around, like no extra enemies, I should... You're listening, good, good. I should be able to take them on. Not right now because I'm almost dead. But this is good. This gives us a, a legal mean to get out of here. 
Hopefully I have enough money to afford a bed. Yeah, I should. Don't I have better clothes? I'm really surprised to see that. Madena Sarandas tells me Kurgenia had the shipmaster drop her and her mate off in the middle of nowhere on the beach north of Rotheran on Sheogorad. So she doesn't realize this looks odd. How many times has Kurgenia done a hard time for smuggling? She may not be smart, but she certainly is persistent. That's fine, that's fine. But well, you don't have the topic for a bed. But she really should, shouldn't she? Oh, do I need to go to the other side of the inn? Like, I know it has a... It has a weird shape. In Skyrim, it is an old tradition to rub canis root on the trees surrounding your house as a ward against werebears. Good to know. Try to remember that the next time I visit. Now they're all going to be locked. This one is supposed to be mine. That's where the guy is. Down there. Or this lady. Oh, come on, services, bed, latest rumor. Sure, why not? Who's got the bed topic? No one. He's known to the local people as a necromancer. His tower is to the east of town. He has, from time to time, tried to engage me in conversation on various topics, including Clavicus Vile and his legendary second heir servant, Ungasta the Slode. He is charming and personable, but I do not trust him. More to the point... Hello. More to the point, I need a bed, and none of you is willing to rent me one. You do barter, so we can get some booze, which we do need. Yeah, I've seen those. Absinthe. Nah. Nord Mead. That's a no-brainer. Oh! Oh, the taste of home. 80 septims. Uh, I'll go for... A spoiled potion. Nah, we'll go for absinthe. It's not my top choice. Come on, I mean, you, you don't even have a bed for me. Yeah, you told me about that. Thank you for the tailoring kit. Was I too quick talking to the other one? Head on, Head on indeed. Oh. <laughs> I know. Duh, no. My story is I went out for a rat and then for a cliff racer and was dead. Or nearly dead. I have to talk to you. Sorry. Let's try that again. Now you're going to barter with me. You're gonna have some not really cheaper booze. Pricier actually. Let's sell that I guess. I can't get a bed in, in here. I mean, this is meant to be an inn. Right? That's the other side, okay. That's the shop. Where do I rest? I'm not gonna sleep on the floor. I guess we need a little pick me up. Thank you for that. Now we'll be able to make good decisions like 
Let's go sleep in the wilderness. In the guards tower. Hey, guards need to rest as well. Hi. I'm guessing if they see me, they're not going to be very keen on. It's valuable, okay? It's money. It's also valuable. That could be useful. And that. Well, you know what? They didn't give me... Bow and arrows. No, it's not going to help us. They didn't give me a bed. And I was willing to pay good money for that bed. So I'm going to make do with uh, whatever I find. Even though right now it's not all that much. Not sure where I can get, you know. None of these. The bard is not gonna give me, you know, rent me a room, I don't think. I can't believe you can get a room here. When this is, this is where you get the room. Maybe I have a, maybe I have a conflict somewhere. And maybe I want to see... <laughs> why? Why try to do things legally? Just, just be a nerd. Smash things, break things. Rest. Until healed, please. I'm rested but hungry. That's okay. That's okay. I, I do have some crab meat. We're gonna have to get some more drinks. I'm picking this. I mean, this is my room after all, right? I'm taking this as well. I don't like the clothes that I have. I just need to remember to not try to sell any of these to these fine people. I should have bashed a thing first thing and now it's cold shit that's a lesser shade <gasps> okay good thing it didn't oh no <laughs> of course it's night time it's night time we have shades in town it's cold as well I suppose I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the night in quote unquote my room No choice because the shades in town pretty deadly okay hopefully they're not renting the room to anyone else while I'm here anything I can practice yeah let's do that let's uh, you know Did that do much for my skill? Yes, almost a almost a whole point. Until until rested, thank you very much. I'm hungry. I'm parched. I do have a bit more money, so oh, let's get some of that. I'm closing it so it doesn't look like the room is available. No, 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 no. The wind, we don't need the wind. Oh, come on. Do you think that's um, an NPC there? Yeah. I'm not seeing the shade anymore, though that's good. What time do you think the shop opens? Wow, could be me. Simon the Brave, I don't know. Hired help. I doubt I can afford you 200 gold. That's not so bad though. Not so bad. But I don't want to sell that. We'll see what happens once we sell the books. And I did want to 
Oh, there we go. That's so much better. That will protect us from the cold. We've got extra warmth. And that's it. The shade is gone. That's good news. Hello, Gradial. No, you terrified me. Oh, Nord, <laughs> you're lucky I didn't throw a dart at your eye. I'm in the middle of something right now, so I cannot talk. Okay. But you have a place to sleep. And Dwemer things. And what happened? Fancy, a little too fancy for us right now. And we don't have too many spells, but we do have that. Oh. I'm still sneaking, so oh yes. And that's our first piece of Dwemer armor. Oh boy, it's so ugly. Uh, what I did for texture replacers, texture and model replacers, is not all that much really. I went with um, uh, enhanced vanilla textures, the one that have been enlarged somehow, you know, with computers and stuff. Um, so I've got that for textures. Then I do have the optimized meshes, and that's just about it. That's just about it. But I think I'm gonna change, I don't know. If we're gonna wear, yes, I'm dehydrated. It's me, I guess. Let's drink. I think it's just a little too ugly. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Now we're really parched. So we're gonna drink from here. Look at that nice clear water. Fill a bottle or two, just the one. It is now seven o'clock. Do you think they open shop at seven? I feel like I've already stolen most of everything I can steal. So we sell what we've got, those books in particular, and then we go and hunt cliff races to make, oh, come on. Just, uh, let's wait. We go and hunt cliff races to make a bit of extra money and uh, and get potions and stuff now we have a bed we can go to every night if we want to so yay for bashing i can sell you this back and that and that and let's work come on on our mercantile good stuff good stuff you are gonna buy the book mercantile increased nice these were cheap, but you know. How are we doing now? We could almost afford, I think. No, not quite. Okay. No, not quite. Unless we did sell that. We'll come back and buy it later once we're rich. Oh, richer. Oh, I can sell those. And I'm allowed to. In permadeath, I'm not allowed to. They won't trade to me if I have anything Dwemer. Ooh. I mean, obviously. Obviously, that would be ideal for us. It's an axe. Oh, hang on. I did keep blunt, didn't I? Crap, I kept blunt as a major, didn't I? I kept blunt as a major. Why? Okay, forget about buying that axe either, actually. I am gonna sell that to make as much money as possible. And now I would really, really like restore health cheap. I will go with it. Restore magicka, it's a bit pricey. Five up soft drink. There's no way we're drinking that. Not happening. Stealth Master Pauldrons, fire damage 30 point to target. 
That's nice. That's nice. Let's get the potion. Yes, you're a trader. And cliff hunting. There we go. That's how we're gonna make money. Cliff hunting, cliff cliffy hunting. You're welcome. Cliffy. There you go. Is our first customer. We're going to use that. I mean, I'm just draining its fatigue, which is utterly pointless. And I'm seeing the moon. I, I do like uh, Star Wars Gal uh, skies. They're nice. I just don't like the moon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that with um I forgot the one <laughs> but I know the one um, Lorcan Lunar Le Legacy is the one that I want Lunar Legacy thank you my agility is still drained is that from that drain that I had the other day no it's from being peckish don't be. Well, now you, you have to come down, buddy. I'm not going to do everything for you. There we go. Please have a plume. That's good. My blunt is increasing. It would be nice if I could afford a shield as well. Thanks for nothing, guard. Nothing. Let's go up so we can uh, we can see the next one. There we go. A couple of ones over there. Ooh. A Dwemer Centurion, is it? A Dwemer Spider. I'm really not keen on fighting those anytime soon. So let's stick to Cliff Racers for now. Do you want to throw a spell at me? It's a sound spell, and um, when you use um, magic diversity, I really like the sound effect. It's really a very high pitch sound, so it's perfect. Like getting caught by the sound spell is extremely unpleasant. Give me a feather! Damn it! Come on, this is my ticket out of town. I think, I hope. And that's all we got. Like I'm not gonna go back to bed. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm not gonna go and nap to recover. That would be so pathetic. So next Cliff Racer, go. This is really, really the perfect town for us. Considering the, the backstory that we, we came up with. nothing I can cast. Can I do telekinesis on you? Here. Cliffy. There we go. At least the good news with the uh, cliff racers, those that look like cliff racers, at worst they are diseased cliff racers. But the look of them is actually a good indication. Because if they if they are yes, if they are blighted or diseased, they're gonna look different. So that's good. Race of plumes three. Whew. And as it is, I don't think I should wander further and risk another fight. I have no means of healing myself at all. So let's go back to town. Let's sell those plumes. I'll probably buy a potion as well. Let's 
gonna be tough. If only there were some valuable, valuable plants around here, but a crash weed, one September pop. The good news is that traders, they can't really cheat me out of that one septim. Other than that, yeah, no, uh, fishing, basically killing slaughter fish is not that good of a deal. I would have to get soaked, meaning I would have all kinds of um, debuff. Yes, I'll go and get you more. 120 septims. What did you see? Oh, the rat. It's not a good time. Don't, don't kill me, rat. Come on. Thank you, brave Nord. We've achieved so much already. <laughs> I have no choice but to rest. I mean, we're we're so weak. We're so out of shape. We're just gonna have to go and rest. And I guess I could... I don't want to sell what's edible. And the crush is actually food rating 10. It's not bad. So I'm, I'm not selling that. I could sell that. Even then it's not so valuable. 400. Head on indeed. Question is, do I keep buying potions? Hopefully he restocks that one potion of healing. He doesn't. I cannot believe I bought and drank the only available potion in the whole damn, damn village. You're kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, looking at your weapons. When we're looking for blunt weapons, I already have the only one available. So, sorry, that's sorted. When I look at the armor, maybe, maybe if I tried my luck in a Dwemer ruin, I could get more Dwemer armor pieces. Even though this is pretty good. I'm rating seven. How does it compare? Dwemer stuff is still better than uh, Trollbone. What are you? You're overpriced. That's good. Flame Helm of Shua. Light armor. It's not for us. Yeah, this is definitely uh, enhanced economic stuff. Might be a little too, too good. Amulet of Glass Agility. Good stuff as well. Blind Southern Ancestral Ghost. Oh! Oh, I am buying this. This could be this could be really really helpful to get us out of there. I mean it's how long? 30 seconds. It's not going to protect us from uh, from a lot of things, but from the slaughter fish, yes. So that's good. I'm I'm paying its value minus one septim. Thank you. What else do you have? An axe, another axe, but uh, we decided or we realized they're not good for us. Draw is not good for us. Iron Skull Shield of Haste. You're heavy, that's good. The armor rating is not stupid. Maybe that's a good investment. And that's also... No, it's not the only heavy shield. That's the other one. Armor rating 9 for 225. Armor rating 10 for 180. Well, let me think. Medium, not for us. Light, anyway. Okay, what else do you have? Silence. This we don't... We can't afford. We definitely need that. Thank you. Come on, I'm a good customer. You can give me a serious discount. Oh, this you restock. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna try to understand. He has never-ending supplies of those. Light could be useful. 
could be useful because we don't have illusion. Uh, the, the way the game is set, it's pretty dark. So that could be useful. Fortify strength for 30 seconds could be useful. Obviously, we can't just fight with enchanted items. Like we can't spam them. Um, there's an option in the Morrowind code patch and it, it imposes a, a cooldown on using enchanted items, which is good. Just right now, I wish I could just spam those, but never mind. You know what? Bone walkers, they're ugly. Like, they're so ugly. But they cast Paralyze, and that's really quite nice. That is a major investment, though. Major investment. The ghost is useless, I feel. A million. Nah, uh, we're not a thief. Okay, that's pretty good. At least we have a way to heal. It's. You know, limited, obviously. Damage personality. Damage health on target. Value 10. We take. I mean, if we can do a little bit of damage before the enemy gets to us, that's good. In my book, that's good. Another restore health. Let's get one. It's not Fargoth's ring. It's the next best thing. Fine. I'm going to level up just on my mercantile. It's a scary, scary thought. Fortify attack and an armored. Meh, sure. One day. Mage fortification. Lovely. Khan belt. Shield 40 points for 30 seconds. That's not bad. How am I doing with money? I've got 300. But I still need a shield. I think the shield is more, like the actual shield is more important. Come on, give me a good price for that. 90, 190. Thank you. I don't know what's happening. Ha! Huh. There's what's happening. We crashed. Therefore, ending today's session. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And we might even get out of Dagenfell. Who knows? Bye.